Welcome to Tinker Now, the place where we tinker with stuff. So, what are we tinkering with today? Yep, it's the Tinkerbot, but more importantly, the motors and BL Heli. Um, so, we're going to go over installing BL Heli, and then um, we're going to check our motors, make sure they're spinning in the wrong direction. So, if they're not spinning in the right direction, then uh, we'll use BL Heli to. Um, reverse the motors and and check them all out um, and that, that's basically all we're going to cover in this episode and then the next episode will be the radio stuff so it's not going to be a super long one it's not as involved as the last video so let's get into it all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to chrome or your browser i don't care what you know anyone you want and then we're going to google for be a hell now we could do the the Chrome app, but we're going to go over to the GitHub page, and we'll go ahead and we're going to grab the latest release, and let's just I'm going to pick the one sixty four, and this is downloading. Um, almost done. few more seconds and there we go all right so now we're gonna extract it um, I'm just gonna stick it in the same place where I put my um, inav configurator and now we just extract it so all right so that's done so we don't need this anymore so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect the tinkerbot to the flight controller and go into inav we need to check our motors and we'll go ahead and now connect it And now we go in. Now, it's really important because now we're going to spin our motors up. Don't have your props on. You know, the thing's going to go flying around. You don't even know what direction they're going to go. So the thing's going to just go spastic. It might fly in you and cut, slice your face wide open or your fingers or, or your dog or whatever. It's just not a cool thing. So what I'm gonna what I need to do now is because I gotta power up the ESC, so I'm gonna plug in the battery. Okay, so now I go over to outputs and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the override, and then this lets me spin the motors up. Alright. So now that they're spinned up, now we need to, we're going to check the directions of the motors, and then we're going to I'm going to spin up each one individually, and then feel them to feel which way they're spinning. So when these guys are going, you want to think about the motors are spinning in towards the center. So like this one is spinning around and coming around this way. This one is spinning around and coming in like this. On the bottom, they're spinning around and coming towards the GPS on both sides. So like this, there's your GPS. So it spins this way. This one spins this way. This one spins towards your camera. Okay? So you want to think about that. Okay? So, all right. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin up motor one. And now it's spinning. And then I'm just going to stick my fingers on it and fill it. Okay, and then I'm going to note it, mark it down. So motor one on mine is going the wrong direction. It's spinning away from the GPS. So now we'll stop that one. I'm going to look at motor two. And on mine, again, for some reason, motor two is spinning away from the camera. It's pretty common to have one or two motors going the wrong direction when you put it all together. Okay, on mine, motor 3 is spinning the right way.
and motor four is spinning the, the right way. Okay, so for me, motors one and two, so make sure you deactivate this. And now we'll go ahead and disconnect. So for me, motors one and two are going the wrong way. So what I need to do now is I need to tell of the ESC and reprogram it to reverse the direction. It has to do with the three wires, how you wire them up. Um, then it'll know which direction it's going to go. But we can do it in software. We don't want it to disconnect and then resolder it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into BLHeli. And then I'm going to load up this, this software here. And... Reconnect. Connect. And you don't have anything because you got to tell it to read the ESC setup. Okay. And now here's all our ESCs. And here's this thing. So I said motor one and two were going the wrong direction, I think it was. Um, so I'm going to tell it to reverse that one and reverse that one. And then I'm going to say, write the setup. All right, now I'm going to disconnect. Then I'm going to bring up my iNav again. And now I'm going to go to the output section, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to verify the directions of the motors. Okay. So now, motor one is spinning towards the GPS. And motor two is spinning in the right direction. I'll just go ahead and check the other ones just for thoroughness. Yep, that one's spinning in the right way. And that one's spinning in the right way. Great. So that's basically it. Now you're configured. I told you this one's going to be pretty quick. So now you know how to do this part. Um, so go ahead, disconnect. You can disconnect from there. Unplug your battery. And that's it. So now I got all my motor spinning the right way. The, in the next episode, we're going to do the radio. Go tinker with something. See you later.